Oh, are you videoing? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I want you to. Uh, okay. Holding. Then okay. you're gonna take your alcohol. Okay. Okay. You're gonna follow up with the alcohol. The reason for that is to remove any residual bleach that is on here. buffer, try to avoid touching the tip. Okay. Your pouch is vacuum sealed, so when you open it, you're going to hear kind of a shh. You heard that, okay. You can push it out like a push pop. Open your can, inside is your pouch. Oh, this is good. Mm -hmm. So here's a little plastic tab. You can pull it out by the tab. Okay. Okay. So here's your pouch. Here's all of the pouch information, lot number, expiration date. Notice in this portion you have some freeze-dried reagent. Okay. Mm. You're going to hydrate that with this solution. All of it? So all of the wheels? All of except for this last one. Okay. So it's good to notice that this is there because you're going to make sure it looks hydrated. But it lets the one and two doesn't have anything. Um, yeah, that's okay. It's it's still going to hydrate. Not every oh, okay. well has... Oh, okay. So it's, it's really like that, that not yeah, all the wells not, has got Not something. all the wells have free hydration. Okay. But they'll all hydrate. Okay. But they yeah. all need to be hydrated. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. This portion of your pouch, this is where the PCR takes place. This is going to slide underneath, okay, just oh, like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. You take your blue hydration solution vial, it has a needle on the end of it. There's mm -hmm. a little hole here that it's pointing to. You're going to put it down and put it press down, okay? okay? Notice it draws it in, so uh -huh. see, now all of the wells are oh, hydrated. Oh, so you, you just need to pierce one for mm -hmm. everything. Just one, okay. yep, oh. okay? If your pouch fails to hydrate, you'll notice that because it'll look not right here. Okay. It also won't take the liquid in. Okay. It'll only take like a tiny bit. We do have a pouch credit system so you can get reimbursement for those. So it would be like a pouch defect? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That and I'll send you that information. Okay. Okay. So then once you've hydrated, pull your needle out. And put it back. Put it back. Okay. Next is your sample buffer. There is a tab here, okay? You want to press this and point it away from you, okay? Press it like that. That's going to open it up, all right? Oh. Then you're going to squeeze your sample buffer into your injection vial, and you want to get above that first red line. So I squeeze 
about to when I start getting a lot of bubbles, you'll see it right there. Also just so, above the first red line. Mm -hmm. So see, notice I've got a lot of bubbles. And That's where I stop the and I'm above that first red line. This is caustic, so you do not want to get this on your skin. Oh. Okay? So I'm going to need the NDS data for that one. We have a, um, yeah, for the whole kit. Just the sample uh, buffer, right? The one That's that the sample buffer. Mm -hmm. Next is your sample, okay? So your sample should be a nasopharyngeal swab in viral transport or safety. Okay, so let's pretend that this is a nasopharyngeal swab in my viral transport. You can vortex it or invert really well. Okay. Respiratory requires 300 microliters. So you're gonna draw up to that third line on your pipette. And then that's going to go into your sample injection vial. All right. You're going to snap this closed. And then you're going to take this out and invert three to five times. This is very important because if you miss this part, you're only going to get sample buffer in your pouch. And okay, then you'll so get a false negative. So it has to be mixed. It's got to be right? mixed mm -hmm, because the sample sits on top. So you mean to say it, it has to be the nasal pharyngeal swab? If it's just like the, the, the nasal wash, no, we cannot accept it. No, mm -mm, that's okay. not validated. Not optimum, okay. okay. This needle is going to go on this pole um. that it's pointing to, the red side. You're going to okay. push down. Okay, and it's gonna fill right here in the sample well. Okay, take it out, put it back, and then you can toss them in your sharps. Okay, and then you're ready to load your pouch. All right, so let me show you how to load your pouch. Let me create an operator for myself. No. Can you give me a new container? Yes. Okay. You're going to come over to your instrument and touch available. And then it's going to ask for you to scan your pouch barcode. All right. So we're going to scan our pouch barcode. All right. Then it's going to ask to scan sample ID. So this is where you would scan your patient label barcode. We're gonna say enter manually and just do test. And that will work for downtime procedure. Correct. Or correlation, so survey. Yes. Mm -hmm. What we're gonna do today, we'll do enter manually. All right, now it's blinking at me. It's ready for me to insert my pouch, okay? So it's kind of like Tetris. <laughs> Notice oh, okay. here, you have a little notch. See that little silver uh -huh. notch right there? Uh -huh. This plastic part, is gonna line up to the left of that notch, all right? But if you do it uh, inverted, it's not gonna go in, right? Right. So you're gonna push it, consistently push it, Until and it's it gonna grab it. So it's like putting in a card at an ATM machine, okay? okay? Then you're gonna put your username and password. And oh, next, so you have to uh, put in the specimen first before uh, putting your password, because usually it's we do the password right. first. And do yeah, so it's specimen, then username oh. and password, okay? Then you're going to hit start run. Okay. Now, if you need to abort the test for any reason, say you set up the wrong patient or the wrong pouch type, uh, because they are all the same, the kits are the exact same other than this sticker <laughs> and labeling. So if you need to abort it, this is where your abort button is. Mm -hmm. So, if so I once you aborted it, you cannot reuse it? Correct. Once it's aborted, oh, it can't okay. be reused. Um, so if I hit home dashboard, this is going to take me down to my countdown timer. It's also going to show me my sample ID and what pouch type. If I want to go back to abort, I'm just going to touch that and hit abort. Oh. Are you sure you want to abort? Yes, I do because we don't need so that. It's like, 
you, for example, you know how we we already uh, put it in there, and then somebody realized, oh, this is not the same patient, so we cannot we cannot correct it anymore once we aborted it. No, like, well, like now we, we can still use the, the the pouch and correct the the, the correct sample patient. ID? Uh huh. Yeah. Yes, you can change the sample oh, okay, ID. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. So if you set up the right pouch or right patient, but you labeled it wrong, uh -huh. you can go back and, at and the correct end it. and correct it. Okay, okay. Yes. Now, yeah, if you, so, okay, let's say you had a respiratory specimen, uh -huh. but you grabbed a blood culture pouch. Ah, uh, this is the one that we need then to Then uh, you to, wouldn't to be get, able to, to use. Abort. To abort. Yes. Okay, okay. Yes. So it's gonna abort it. So see, now it's aborting. And it'll kick it back out. So if we need to change some some patient info, <coughs> you know, just let the test run. At the end, you can change it. Because it, once we aborted it, then we cannot. We have to just start over again. Right. right. I'll show you. <coughs> Excuse me. I have allergies and I'm coughing. <coughs> um, I'll show you when we go through the software okay. how to change the sample ID. So once your test is finished, it's going to eject it, so it's ready for you to take it out. You just pull it out, mm -hmm. it'll go back to available. You want to dispose of this in your biohazard can, okay? So now I'm going to have you both set up this blue one. So is that how, how quick, like, like the result? Like no, it's 45 minutes. Oh, okay. Oh, you just uh, showed us, you know, how we did come yeah. out. I just wanted to show you how it, you load it mm -hmm. and pull it out. Okay, okay. 